Shalom everyone. I'm standing here along our northern border. Behind me you can see the Ayun Valley in southern Lebanon. This Tuesday there was an explosion at a neglected and poorly maintained Hezbollah arms depot in a small Lebanese village called Ein Kana, which is approximately 13 miles north of where I'm standing. But what happened in Ein Kana was not a unique event. Hezbollah has systematically embedded its weapons arsenal within civilian structures across southern Lebanon and in the capital city of Beirut. The tragic explosion at the port of Beirut in August was unfortunately another addition to a list of explosions in Lebanese civilian areas caused by dangerous neglect of lethal weaponry and chemicals. By hiding its terror infrastructure deep inside civilian areas, Hezbollah not only exposes the people of Lebanon to the dangerous consequences of mishandled weaponry, as was the case in Ein Kana this week, but also purposely places them in the direct line of fire, using them as human shields. Under UN Security Council Resolution 1701, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, called UNIFIL, has the mandate to ensure that Lebanon is free of illegal arms and Hezbollah weapons. It is time for the international community to act for the sake of regional stability and to avoid the next accident.